Hi, today we are going to create your first simple game using Unity. We will learn the basic structure of the editor, set up a scene, and make a player movement script. So, let's start. Firstly, we want to install Unity. You need to download Unity Hub, a platform to manage different editor versions. Create an account and organization. Then open Unity Hub, select installs, and install any version. I recommend LTS 2021. If you don't have Visual Studio, add it to installation. Excellent. Now we'll create a new project. Click on that button. Select 2D. Choose our installed editor. Name it. Select organization. Uncheck the unnecessary checkboxes. Click Create Project. After a few minutes we see a launched editor. There are several important parts that you have to remember. Hierarchy to see all objects in scene, scene view, game view, inspector to set up selected object, project folders, and top menu bar with advanced project settings. Each image in game is called sprite. Let's create a special folder for them. To import images, just drag and drop them into project. I'm using Free Kenny Assets, link below. Now it's time to create a game object. It's simple. Just drag Sprite into the scene. Excellent! Object appeared in Hierarchy View. Let's call it Player Inside Inspector. Now you can launch your game. Wow, we did it! Each game object could have a list of components, special code blocks that perform some operations. I want to add physics to player, so I can attach rigid body 2D. It will add mass, gravity, drag, etc. Now our player falls down. Wonderful. I think it's a great idea to make some floor. Drag another sprite. Add component called box collider that makes objects solid. You can edit bounds, but in my case Unity automatically resize them to perfection. Scale it a bit using transform component. Also, you can use these tools. View, Move, Rotate, Scale, Rect, and Universal Tool. Switch between using QWERTY keys. Now launch your game. As you see, player still falls through obstacle. That's because he also needs a collider to interact with floor. Add collider to player. Launch again. It works. Great. But player doesn't do anything. Game is quite boring. Let's add an ability to control our character. In previous steps, we used built-in components, but now it's time to create your own. Add folder, name it, then click create, c -sharp script. I called it player, but you can give any name you want. Double-click the file and you will launch Visual Studio. If it doesn't work, check the menu Edit, Preferences, External Tools, and here you should select your code editor. There are two functions. Start is called immediately after game launch, and executed only once. Update method called each frame. For example, if your game runs at 60 FPS, then update will be executed 60 times per second. There are lots of other built-in methods, but now, we need only two of them. To make player move, let's add speed variable, for example, 3. At the beginning, let him just move right forever. In update method, Type transform, translate vector 3, right multiply by speed. We take component called transform and say him to move object to the right. Vector 3.right has the length of 1, so we need to multiply it by speed. Now we need to attach script to player game object. Click on player and drag our script into the inspector. You added new component to player by drag and drop. Launch game. As you see, player flown away so quickly that it's hard to notice that. Now player moves 3 units per frame. So we need to multiply it by time delta time. That will turn the speed of player into 3 units per second. Test again. Now all is good. Let's increase the floor length. Just copy paste floor blocks. Great, character has more space to move. To control player, you should add some conditions. The easiest method is, if input get key, key code D, then player moves right. To move him left, add one more condition below, but change key code to A, and set vector 3 left. 
and now I can control the character to move left and right. Amazing. That's your first simple game. Personally, I would like to add more functionality. It would be great to be able to change speed directly during test. To do that, make the speed variable public. If you open editor, you will notice that our variable become visible in inspector. Now you can change character speed during the gameplay and find optimal value. But remember that all changed variables will return to initial values after game end. Also, I can change the background color. Select camera, the object that make you able to see all objects during gameplay. Then click on background and select optimal color. You can switch to game view and see color changes in real time. Finally, I think our happy cube would like to jump. Jumping is a mechanic that requires control through the rigid body. Add public rigid body to DRB. Also, we need some force. Let it be 10. You can't just create rigid body with constructor. To attach it, you should go to inspector and drag the rigid body component into that field. Great, now it linked with our script. I will control jump with control key, but you can assign any other button. And now, we should apply force to the object up, multiplied by the amount of force. Launch the project and click jump key. Yes, we did it. Now our cube can jump high to skies. Now we have a problem. If you hold the button, character will jump higher, but how to jump only once from the floor? Well, I'll show you that in the next tutorial, where we will improve current code and add some more mechanics. Subscribe to our channel, play our games, and see you soon. Thanks for watching.